Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get multiplayer working through Reusing on macOS. So if you didn't already know, Nintendo Switch emulation is working great on the macOS operating system. And today I'm going to show you how to get the multiplayer side of things working. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So now I'm going to do is to show you how to play multiplayer through Reusing. So obviously we cannot play through the official Nintendo servers. However, there are some workarounds. So for example, here we can play Splatoon 3 using the local area network method. So every Switch game does the LAN method slightly differently. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this guide which contains methods for every single supported game. Today we're going to show you the Splatoon 3 method. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to the shoal area. So if we press the X button and then we go down and then select shoal, I'm going to do the same with this side as well. And the next thing we need to do is to enable LAN mode. So I'm going to hold down the left and right triggers here and then we're also going to hold down the L3 button as well for about five seconds. Then it's gonna push us into LAN mode. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. And that's put us both into LAN mode. Then we wanna make sure that we both have the correct network settings. So we go to settings, network, and then make sure that guest internet access is enabled and make sure that we have the correct network interface. So you can do that by holding down the option key and then clicking on your Wi-Fi icon. And that'll tell you that we have the interface name EN0. So I've selected network interface EN0. And then the mode I'm gonna select is LDN Ryu. So press save. Same deal with this side as well. The network, LDN Ryu and then make sure that the guest internet access LAN mode is turned on. Then we'll go back to the show on both sides. I'm going to use this menu to create a private battle and then I'll create a room. And on this side as well, I'm going to go into private battle. Then I'm going to select the game that's now available. See here, Ryu player. That's the hosted game on this side. So I'm going to click join. And yes. So we've now connected together. I'm going to start an actual game now. Here you go. You can see here now that both characters are all facing each other. I'm able to select this one and it's all working correctly. So this is really impressive that this multiplayer works at all. So how about if you want to play Ryu Jinx online against other people on the internet? Well, in that case, we're going to use something called the Ryu Jinx LDN. This is basically an online mode which is organized through the official Ryu Jinx Discord. You'll find specific channels for games like Splatoon and Monster Hunter and also Pokemon as well. Private games can be organized by implementing a network passphrase, so only players with the same passphrase can play together. And the main difference from before is that we can have guest internet access LAN mode turned off. So most of this works pretty well. We can go ahead and create a game and have people join from over the internet. And you'll have to organize these games privately, but it seems to work pretty well. Plenty of other games are supported and often have slightly different instructions. So make sure to check out the Reading's LDN guide online, which I'll leave a link to in the description. One difficulty I did find is that if you try to manage user profile and you wanted to edit your name, for example, then the text input isn't quite working correctly. So if you do go to manage user profile, what you can do is edit selected and if you can't type into here you could go ahead and type into a text edit document and then you could go ahead and actually copy and paste this so I'm gonna delete that and then press the paste button and then I'm able to type it in my user profile name there so that is a workaround for that particular issue so now I hope you found this video useful if you did please like please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video